there are at least three reasons to file a federal tax return in 2021 for the 2020 tax year, even if you're not required to file a federal tax return. Now, for most people, the gross income threshold that mandates filing a tax return is $12,400. Those are the people that are required to file a tax return. If you're lower income than that, you aren't required to file a federal tax return, but you still might want to. And here are three reasons. Number one, to claim your stimulus money. These are those economic impact payments. Anyone who is eligible for an economic impact payment but did not get one, either the first time they were offered, the second time they were offered, or either time they were offered, or you didn't get the full benefit amount. Maybe you didn't get the amount for dependent children you had owed to you. You need to file a tax return to claim what is called the recovery rebate credit to get your stimulus money. Again, even if you aren't normally required to file a tax return. Now, recall that it was $1,200 per person and $500 per qualifying child for the first payment. It was $600 per person and $600 per qualifying child for the second stimulus payment. Number two, another reason to file, maybe you got unemployment benefits in 2020. Those are taxable. You should watch the mail for what is called a Form 1099-G. In some states, you may be able to download that right from the website where you filed for unemployment benefits, but keep in mind those benefits, again, are taxable. Reason number three, you might have a credit coming to you. Low and middle income workers can claim a tax credit and it's even a larger credit if you have dependent children in the home. There is actually a new rule for 2020 that helps those people who maybe lost your job or have reduced income in 2020 over 2019. You can actually use your 2019 earned income to figure out what your 2020 earned income tax credit could be. This new rule also applies to the additional child tax credit. How to file. Now, the IRS is strongly encouraging people to do their filing electronically, to do it online, and then choose direct deposit. They say that's going to help avoid some of these pandemic-related paper delays. Now, of course, you can still file on paper, and we shared the link to e-file and the paper forms in the description below. The IRS actually has what they have call a free file system. It offers online tax preparation, direct deposit of refunds, and electronic filing, all for free. And again, we link to that in the description below. There are some options available to do this in Spanish and there is help. You can visit one of the Vita sites and we shared the link to how to find one close to you also below. If you're still not sure if you should file a tax return, the IRS has a tool on their website that can walk you through the steps that makes helps make that decision a little easier. It's called the Interactive Tax Assistant. We link to that in the description below. They ask questions about maybe you had an employer who withheld federal tax from your pay. Maybe you made estimated tax payments in the past and now have to reconcile. Maybe you overpaid in 2019 and you're owed a refund. There are a number of reasons why you might want to walk through this interactive tax assistant and see if you have money coming your way. So again, in the description below, a bunch of resources. That free file tax site, the interactive tax assistant, how to get free help from volunteer income tax assistance centers. We link to how to find one near you. Also the paper forms, the 1040. And if you are gonna claim that earned income child tax credit, uh, the EITC, uh, there is that EIC, scheduled EIC form you also have to file that's linked up in the description below. We also share that original tax tip where the IRS is encouraging people to take a second look and see if they indeed should file a tax return and how to make it a little bit easier.